Hello everyone, it's Thomas here. So today I'm going to talk about the Totem Element Ember. For those of you who don't know Totem, it's actually a Canadian company located here in Montreal, uh, actually where I live. Uh, it's been around for about 28 years and their product, as far as, I'm as, far as I am concerned, are as good as uh, BMW, Focal, Paradigm and the big companies. So if you don't know the company, if you ever get a chance to audition their product, I would like highly recommend that you give it a try. Now, now I'm usually not a big fan of bookshelf speakers. I like full range uh, sound, but the Element series is actually uh, quite expensive. Their top end speaker is about $12,000 and they're relatively new to the market. So it's hard to find them on the used market at a very good price. Uh, I am. I was curious about the Torrent driver, so when uh, I got a chance to pick up a bookshelf uh, speaker, um, I just grabbed it. If you look at the top, it has a three-quarter soft dome tweeter. Now, I myself love soft dome tweeters. Uh, my main speaker, which is a Titan Earthquake, uses a soft dome tweeter, and uh, I like soft dome tweeter ever since I started uh, playing with Dying Audio speakers. Now on the bottom here, you see the Torrent 6-inch hand-assembled woofer. Uh, this is what I was curious about. So at the back, you have the Platinum WBT connectors. And out of all these speakers I tried, I don't remember one being so high quality. You know, when you turn on it, it's so smooth. Not sure it makes any difference, but uh, WBT connectors are quite well known. It's interesting how they connect the... Uh, the treble and the bass together is this little rod here uh, instead of uh, jumper cables. The speaker itself is definitely very beautiful. It's, uh, it has four layer of paint. Uh, if you look at the back, once again, it's, you know, you can tell it's absolutely high quality and it better be at close to, I think it's about $5,000, this speaker. This costs as much as the Focal 836. So, and this is a bookshelf speaker and it's very light. I can carry two of them in the box, no problem whatsoever. So usually I'm not a big fan of uh, bookshelf speaker because of the fact that it can't produce the full range sound, but still I wanted to give it a try. So, you know, without having much expectation, uh, I brought it home, hooked it up and I was blown away. Now I knew that it should still be somewhat okay because it's still a four or $5,000 speaker. But because I'm used to 10,000 plus speakers, when I bring home a four or 5,000 speaker, it goes like this. If I bring home a 10,000 speaker, my expectation is like this. And when I listen to it, I start picking apart, okay, this, this, it doesn't do too well, that it doesn't do too well, and blah, 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 right? When I pick, take home a $4,000, $5,000 speaker, my expectation is around here. And when I listen to these speakers, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's like, it's exceed my expectation. In fact, that I think these totem are exactly my type of sound. The first second I plugged it in, that was it. I, I spent the next four hours listening to it. I didn't need to uh, change cables. I didn't need to try different amps. It, it, it just worked perfectly. So how does it sound? Um, let's put it this way. It's between uh, the Focal and the Pacifa. Focal is very bright, very detailed, very sharp. Pacifa is very refined, very smooth. This falls somewhere in between. Now, it is almost sweet sounding. It's not sweet, sweet sounding, but it's almost there because it has a bit of sharpness, which is what I like. Um, I think that they got the soft dome tweeter right. It is absolutely not harsh. I can push the volume. Uh, my ears don't hurt and I, I actually enjoy it. And it has that sharpness, meaning that the details are all there. So what really stood out from uh, these speakers was the soundstage. It is wide. It is insane. And I think it has something to do with the Torrent driver. You have to read up on the technology itself. But you would never expect that from a small speaker like that. I, I mean, it's just humongous. Um, there's so much space that I feel like each instrument now has its own space. It's very well defined. The speak, the singer, you know, in the past, I would say, oh, the singer is really in the middle in your face. But no, no, this one brings it up to the next level. The singer is in front and he has his own space. There's nothing around her or him. Um, the instruments are the same. Because the soundstage is so big, things are not cuddled together. It's just that 
there's so so much space that I can I can feel the instrument all separate really well. So every song that I listen to, I'm like listening to it uh, new again because it's just uh, a very interesting experience. Uh, I don't really get that from my other speakers because a lot of time I tow in my speaker a lot. Now these speakers you don't need to tow in. Well, I have to tow in just a little bit because I, they're about eight feet apart, and because of that, I guess it creates. That's why it creates a very big sound stage. And the second thing that uh, impressed me, as I mentioned before, is the soft dome tweeter. I think they got it right with the soft dome tweeter. In my past, soft domes, although they sound great and smooth, it's uh, always a little bit bright. Uh, for example, with Dying Audio uh, speakers I had before, the Contour 2, the uh, the Totem Forest, even then, they're, they're a little bit bright. But this one, no, not at all. It retains all the detail, and yet it's very, very smooth. So I think just this two thing alone, the fact that the soft dome is uh, tweeter is very smooth, uh, not bright, and the, and the fact that the sound stage is really big is good enough. It's worth its money just for having these two things uh, standing out. Now, the, the bass is a bit light, not light, it's a bit thin. Well, you expect that from a bookshelf speaker, right? So luckily, I have a very nice subwoofer that pairs really well with these speakers. And the beauty of a subwoofer if you get it right, if you know how to set it up properly, it just disappears on you and you don't know that it's on or off. Well, when I turn it off, I can feel, okay, I'm losing the low end right now. But when I turn it on, I can't tell where it's coming from. Now, there's a, uh, some song that I listen to. I know exactly where the drum should be, right? Like, for example, the drum should be around here. And when it hits, even with the subwoofer on, my subwoofer is on that side, I can feel the impact coming from here. So. Because it's set up properly, it merges very well with the Totem uh, Ember here. So if you're somebody who has these speakers and you feel like, eh, I wish there's a bit of low end, get yourself a good subwoofer. Not the subwoofer made for home theater, uh, a subwoofer made for music. Now, in this case, uh, this is my Martin Logan. Uh, it has inputs for stereo. It has input for LFE. That's for my home theater. And uh, it, for some reason, this thing just just uh, integrates very well with my bookshelf speaker. I also have another pair of Dyn Audio One Six Focus One Six Zero here, and yeah, it, it just integrates very well. Now I have other uh, subwoofers, the bigger ones, that's uh, for the home theater, and then I have subwoofer that are made for. Uh, then I have subwoofer just for music. So if you have a pair of Ember, and you find it a little bit lacking. Just make sure you get yourself a good subwoofer. Now, if you don't agree uh, with what I said here, meaning that you find it just so-so because you own one, maybe it's the equipment that you, you're driving it with. When I first went to pick this up, I was listening to them on uh, a name setup. Uh, N-A-I-M, name. Uh, it was about 70 watts. Um, I think the preamp was the 202. I was listening to it, I said, yeah, it sounds pretty good, but yeah, okay, yeah, it's good. But when I brought it home, maybe because my room is treated now, um, it was just a, a big gap, right? So I, I think if you're, you feel that it's not good enough, maybe it could be the equipment. Now in my case, I'm driving it with about uh, over $10,000 worth of equipment, and perhaps that's why I can bring the full potential of these speakers out. So needless to say, I love these speakers. I was blown away by them, um, got it home, plug it in, and I, I couldn't stop listening to it. I, I listened, listen, fell asleep, woke up, listen, listen, listen. Uh, four hours later, I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're good. And these speakers are not even uh, broken in yet. I'm just waking it, uh, waiting for it to break in so it sounds more smooth. If I, uh, if I didn't have my main speaker, I would say this probably could have been my last speaker for a long time. Uh, as I was listening to it, I was telling myself, wow, these uh, totem owners must be pretty happy with these speakers. I do see them on the used market, just not often. So uh, that's why I say, I wonder why people would sell them. They're, they're fantastic. Yeah, so that's my quick uh, impression, my review on them. Uh, if you do have a pair, comment on it. You know, if you don't agree with what I say, let, you know, let's talk about it. Uh, for now, my friends are all waiting to borrow them. Uh, I'm gonna have them tested for a long period of time. Uh, sometime in the future, I'll do a follow-up video to, to let you guys know how was the long-term testing. All right, for now, see you next time.